Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to set up something called Apollo Client, GraphQL Client, to uh, query our GraphQL endpoint in a React context. And as always, with all these GraphQL videos, there's a corresponding GitHub project. So if you were to look at that, you will see the same thing as I am seeing here, which is a back and front folder. If you look in the back folder, it's the same as before, a serverless framework, GraphQL endpoint uh, deployed with a serverless framework. And um, the only difference is that I've made it the path slash GraphQL. Other than that, everything is the same as before. You can see that the schema is the same and the resolvers are the same. So that is all there. And if we just to confirm in our video, we have this working uh, endpoint because we can see the GraphQL playground. So that is great. So now if you go to the front folder, what I've done is I've used create react app to generate a uh, react project here. And if we look into source, I've just changed a few things here. So we have our index, uh, index.css and then inside pages, I have a home.js. So that's the only differences I've made. So uh, if you're wanting to get Apollo client started, first of all, it's good to know that there is documentation for all of this. So if you go to Apollo docs, getting started with a React app, there are some really nice docs here. So I'm basically gonna sort of demonstrate how you would accomplish this. And the first thing you would do is npm install these libraries. So something called Apollo Boost, Apollo React Hooks. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use hooks uh, to uh, hit our GraphQL endpoints. And then we need the GraphQL library as well. So that is what I have done. And uh, in order to get this set up, first of all, if you go in your index.js, I have some comments here of the things that I've changed. Everything else is pretty much the same. So what I've done is I brought in Apollo React Hooks, uh, pr Apollo Provider, and Apollo Client. With the Apollo Client, you're going to make um, a new Apollo Client with your URL. So this is going to create a new Apollo Client. Once that's created, you're going to wrap your whole app in something called an Apollo provider. And we wanna make sure that we're getting that from the React Hooks library. And we're gonna put the client that we created into this Apollo provider. And now our app is, is set up. Uh, everything inside of the Apollo provider is gonna be able to make these GraphQL calls. Um, and then benefit from everything that Apollo gives us, which is a lot. And we'll go over that in future videos, but um, at the very least, it's gonna give us a really nice way with React Hooks to uh, hit graph our GraphQL endpoint. So, great. So this is the kind of thing that you would, you're not gonna be touching this too much after you've set it up. This is the thing you do at the beginning of your project. Most of our code that we're gonna be writing from here on out is gonna be in our pages and components. Um, we might periodically go back to the setup page and add some things based on what we need as we continue developing. But for the most part, um, this setup file isn't something you're gonna be revisiting on a, like a rapid basis. Um, it's mostly, this is our setup, and from here on out, we're going to you, uh, write code in our components and pages. So, if we go to a home, our home.js file here, um, what I've done is, first of all, I've imported the hook that we're gonna be using, the React hook to query our endpoint. And I've also brought in something called GQL. This is basically uh, what's gonna enable us to make our queries like this. So these are two things I'm gonna bring in. And so that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna define my query up here. And um, this is like, if you have syntax highlighting, it makes it a lot better. It's nicer if it's not just like one color. Uh, so I have some syntax highlighting to give, highlighting to give me some, uh, a better visual on this. And so this is our query here, product. I want to get ID of one, two, three, four, and these values here. This is familiar to us. And next, once we get into our actual component, this is the hook that we write. So we do use query, and we're going to uh, make that query. And it's gonna give us three things. And this is, to me, this is a really, really good workflow for React. Uh, when you're making React components or any sort of visual, anything, any UI element, we have our loading, our error, and our success. And you should always be uh, explicitly handling those three scenarios. We should always be handling loading if there is loading. Um, in a scenario, we are loading it because we're getting it after we've loaded the React. Uh, our, our application. 
And so if it's loading, what are we going to do? We're going to display loading. If there's an error, what are we going to do? Well, that really depends. For now, we're just um, showing a general message, but there might be something in particular you want to react to based on this query. If none of those things are true, then we'll go ahead and show our, our final uh, successful happy path response. Um, so if we go to our app here and I refresh it, um, let's see here, I have to, let's go to front, yarn start. Okay, so it's loading and then it, it loads the successful uh, Dark Coffee 200. And if I was to make some sort of mistake in my query, like add uh, another thing like that, it is going to properly, wow, that's taking a long time. Um, it's going to properly load and then give show the purposeful intentional error uh, message that we have defined right here. So I would say all the setup stuff, you do that, um, you don't do that, you're not spending too much time doing that, that's at the beginning of your project. But um, the way you, you write your Apollo code, your GraphQL fetching code going forward, is gonna, it's gonna be a lot of this kind of stuff. And I really like it because it's just a very nice, clear way of defining all three scenarios. Or if there's multiple ways it could error more than three scenarios. Um, but yeah, so this is, I, I'm a big fan of using uh, React hooks, uh, in this case, this uh, Apollo React hook to hit our Apollo, sorry, our GraphQL endpoint.